So speaking of firsts, I hear you like to sometimes take your fans' virginities? Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. Well, so I've only had the opportunity so far with one fan. But that's because I'm very meticulous and careful about the selection process. But let me rewind for a little bit. Okay. So the fan that I filmed with to, you know, take his virginity um, is someone who's so, so special to me. It's I've been around my online presence since I started on Chatterbait. About a month into camming was when he came into my chat room. So I've known him for a long time at this point. Um, we've known each other about three years, about when, when we filmed together. Um, and I'd met him at a number of expos. And I was just like, oh, he's such a sweet guy. Like, he's so nice. You know, just seeing that he's real and as he represents himself to be. And he was a virgin. Um, he just was very inexperienced. How old was he, can I ask? I uh, was 35. Okay. I think. Okay. I forget. I'm like, I mean, just yeah. Like, he was mid thir- mid thirties. Okay, yeah. Um, and so I was his first, his first everything. Um, oh. I had told him um, right around the time that um, my relationship ended, and I started doing porn, and I, you know, rebranded myself into my like slut era, which is it's funny. I'm gonna have to change that. That's just my slut life now. Mm-hmm. Um, but I told him, and I was like, you know, if you come out here, um, I'll take your V card. We got to film it, but like. That was kind of the conditions of like, you come out here and get tested and we'll do the thing. So he did. Um, oh, I bet he fucking did. Yeah, he I bet did. he bought that plane ticket so fast. Yeah. So it took us, you know, some planning, coordination for a few months. Um, and when he came, um, you know, we spent a few times just like hanging out, just going on a couple of dates. It was really actually really funny um, because we were sitting, we were coming back from like a movie or dinner and we were sitting at a stoplight and there was like a car full of teenagers. This is like a Friday night or something. So they're just like being rowdy and rambunctious and they have the windows down and they're like leering out the car window trying to like talk to us and I'm ignoring them. But then I look over and I see one of the mushy mouths. She's like, is that your man? And I'm like, yeah, that's my man. And the whole car, they were like going crazy and they're ooing and aahing. And they're like, that's not your man. That's not your man. And he's blushing so hard. And I'm like rolling down the window to like, you know, go back and forth with them. And they're like, y'all should kiss. And so I just immediately grabbed him and like put one on him. But I didn't know that was his first kiss. (gasps) It was was his first kiss ever. Oh my god! And it was, you know, not on camera, but that was, you know, (laughs) really spontaneous and cute in the moment. Um, But I was also like... Why y'all hating? Like, yeah, that's my man. Like, hell yeah. So tell me about the actual scene. Like, how did it go? How did he do? He must have been super nervous, right? He was He was really, really nervous. I think that at the beginning, he was like, oh, I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Um, and then when we actually were getting down to things, he was like, oh, shit, I kind of forgot to be nervous. Yeah, he, um, he does not reach orgasm. Okay. Spoiler alert. Yeah, <laughs> at the I end mean, of the video. That's you know, um, there coming are, on cue is very hard. There's you know a lot of technical difficulties to be transparent, but I think that it's still a really valid experience because we're able to kind of like just redirect and engage in a lot of foreplay in a way that is still a very sex for so many people isn't just like a penis in a vagina. So. In terms of like a heteronormative virginity experience, it really wasn't that. Um, but like that man had sex, it, the penetration mm-hmm. it could be argued. But like, <laughs> 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 but like, I still think that it's very really valid for so you know you don't need penetration to have sex. Mm-hmm. So I mean, look, if he had never kissed a girl before, then like all of that is so like the next level that he's never been to. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot. It is. It is a lot. And I think that- That's like second and third base, you know? Yeah. And what I didn't expect for the video is I didn't expect it to be as successful as it was mm. um, because I thought they were like, mm, there's going to be no come. They're going to be like, oh, he didn't come. Like, mm, whatever. Like, we don't really care. But I think through the fact that there are those like technical difficulties that we're sorting through throughout the video- um, People who are still virgins, they find a lot of like hope and faith in that in a way because they're like, I think their number one fear in a sense for some of them is A, that they'll never lose their virginity or B, that if they do, 
that it might be, they'll be too nervous. They'll just have too much going on for it to work. And I think they're able to see in real time that like, yeah, it's not always this fairy tale of like, the dick is up and then the pussy goes on and then like the, the magic happens. And everybody, but both people come at the same time. Yeah, exactly. That's my favorite, like in the movies. Oh, right. Everyone orgasms at the same time. Oh, always. Yeah, no. Um, so they're able to see that like, you're not, it's not always a fairy tale story for your first time, but that it's still okay. You know, yeah. Yeah. you'll live and that like, you'll live to fuck another day. Yeah. 